I like this. This is going to be cool because we have to hit a new club on every single shot. And to me, that is just dope. So Garrett's hitting the spaceship of a putter. Let's see if we can make par. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! That's huge! That is massive. That is what you love to see, guys. Before we go on with the rest of today's video, I would like to announce that it's actually sponsored by Golf Avenue. We wouldn't have been able to do this video without them. We got 72 different golf clubs in today's video. There is no way we could have done that without Golf Avenue's help. So let's get a thank you, Golf Avenue, in the comments down below. For those of you who do not know, Golf Avenue sells used golf clubs and used golf balls. After you make any purchase on their website, you will receive your golf clubs or golf balls from two to five days. So they have very fast shipping. That's pretty cool. Another cool thing is if you have all clubs sitting in your garage you can actually sell them directly to golf avenue free collection and get extra bonus on your club's value if you take your credit also this site is very reliable because the customer satisfaction is above any other retailer in this industry with a 4.7 out of 5 rating based on more than 15,000 reviews guys once again huge shout out to golf avenue for sponsoring today's video Let's get into this challenge. Well, this is the current situation, folks. Golf clubs there, 72 of them. Literally 72. I mean, you guys are about to see this, but we have 72 different golf clubs in this truck. We got four boxes full of golf clubs here. Have no idea what's going on, but we're about to fill up this trash can with golf clubs, and then we're gonna drive to the course. I agree, let's do it. Okay, I just have a quick interruption, okay? I'm gonna do the intro right now. Welcome back, guys. I know I kind of already did an intro with the sponsored part of this video. Whole set of irons just chilling right here. This is sponsored by Golf Avenue, once again, so a huge shout out to them. I mean, look at all these clubs that they sent us. It looks like there's gonna be more than 72, but I know there's only 72, because I'm sure they counted them, but in today's video, the rules are quite simple. We're gonna be playing 18 holes. This is an 18 hole special video for you guys, which you guys don't really normally get. So, let's try and get 18,000 likes. We got 1,000 likes per hole, we're playing 18 holes, and the key here, in this challenge is you cannot use a single club more than once. Micah and I are going to be playing alternate shot as a team and we're going to see if we can shoot better than 72 with 72 clubs. This is insane. When we thought of this video, I thought of it being differently than this and I think it's going to be better. <laughs> it's going to be even better. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this type of challenge. This is insane. Probably one of the crazier challenges we've done. So smash the like before we even get into the rest of the video. We're back out here at Coyote Ridge. We're going to dial it in and see if we can shoot on a bar today. All right, on to the first hole here. We gotta dial it in. We gotta get focused. We got a second cart here. Thanks to Coyote Ridge Cart Boys. Walked up, said, hey, you guys got a trash can at hand with another golf cart? And they're like, absolutely. So once we use the club, we're gonna put that club in this trash can, the red trash can. And that club can no longer be used for the rest of the video. We're on the first hole here. We're gonna be playing pretty quick. Alternate shots, what hole one looks like. I'm gonna have the TIG hit the first tee shot. What club do you want me to hit? Whatever club you feel like you want to hit. We gotta strategize. I mean, we gotta shoot under par today, which I think will easily be able to do this course pretty easy but let's see we've never used these clubs before he's gonna go with an iron oh the two iron the three, iron. Right, three guys, iron i'm gonna go with this three iron we're looking at a, a precept tour premium forged i mean pretty good condition looks like we got a little dynamic gold shaft on there but i really like the way this is shaping up a little over 300 yard par four one ball wow. two dudes 72 clubs one golf course see that's a great title right there <laughs> also well first of all that's really good but you know how you always use my two iron? Hi guys, just like that, first club goes in the X. Club number one, boom. All right, here we go, gotta focus up. Here on the right side, Micah, give me a pretty good look at the green. I got about 70 yards, so. I'm gonna find a 60 degree in here and chip it up there. But we also gotta realize, like once we use a 60 degree, there might not be that many more 60 degrees left. I think I got one. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, if you guys haven't liked this video yet, I got a wooden, up. wooden shaft club. We might have to do a full video with this. It looks like a sand wedge or something. Like it's, what does it say? Out. It's just an out wedge. Dude, it, hey, the wooden shaft, what? 70 yards of the pin. Garrett's hitting this persimmon wood, getting it out of the way early. We got to take our opportunities when we can and see if we can make some birdies. Oh, that felt weird as... I think it needs to sit. Cheeks, man. Okay, okay, that honestly... Yeah, Garrett, that just jumped off the face. That felt really weird. Wow. Thing is, you don't have to hit it again. We gotta focus on making pars here. We're not gonna necessarily need a bunch of these, like, pitching wedge or nine iron, so... Oh, we need to get a putter. We gotta get two putters, possibly. You never know if we can get this up and down. See, that's the we'll tricky grip. part. This thing is like a spaceship. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, <laughs> even roll putters are actually pretty good, I think. A little nine iron here. Here we go. I like this. 
The greens are aerated today. And yeah. that, ooh, whoa. Okay, we could be making bogey in the first hole. We got like six feet left here for par. Garrett's putting, I feel pretty confident about him making this. I like this. This is gonna be cool because we have to hit a new club on every single shot. And to me, that is just dope. So Garrett's hitting the spaceship yeah, of a putter. And see if we can make par. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! That's huge! That is massive! That is what you love to see, guys. So you are up next. So typically an alternate shot. Mike would hit the tee shot, then I would hit the next tee shot. But since we were just doing this straight up, 72 alternating throughout the whole round, like Mike hits in. the next tee shot. And I like that because it's a nice par 5. We're even par through 1. Got a good chance of making birdie here. I'm going to sift through there and see what kind of driver I want to hit. The best part about all this is we filled that whole thing up and we still have and more And we clubs. still have, like, I don't know, the entire last four holes right Let's there or something. We 59, so we don't have to use Exactly. Guys, hold two here. Par five. Take found it. Oh, he's going with the crank. I'm going with the, the crank face. 10.5 degrees. We need Kyle here. Oh my gosh. This, this is going to be tough. He's hitting the crank driver. I don't know where this ball is going to go. Honestly, couldn't tell you. This is what hole two looks like. Dog leg left. Par five. Dial it up in there, Tig. Oh gosh. He hit it good, but it did flare out right. Okay, that's going to be okay though. There's nothing over there. There is nothing over there. I've seen him hit over there more than once. You did that and you beat your record, didn't you? Yeah, that felt so weird. It feels like it's like glass. Like it felt like it just did not work. <laughs> it did not work. Take it in hole eight's fairway. That's to dial it up in here. Four. Insane. Absolutely insane. He's got a four iron. This is what he's looking at. He's just got to go over these trees. Not really into tree trouble, but he's just going to take a rip at it with a four iron. Oh, dude. Oh, that, that just went was, straight left. That was long. And that's going to be up there. It's going to be okay, but we're still going to have a wedge in. So this thing's like for people over six feet tall. So, myself. That was a course management mistake. I think we're going to be fine, but what I probably should have done is taken an iron that I knew I could just lay up over the trees and give Mike a wedge shot into the green. Now we're looking at a tricky wedge shot here on the left rough, but we should still be fine. Dude, this challenge is crazy. I want to see the like button going crazy in today's video because this is probably one of the craziest challenges we've ever done. All right, so Tig has 41 yards here, which means he's got to pick a wedge. Oh, perfect. We oh, got a this little is Tom nice. Watson lob wedge. We got about 40 yards. Got a little green to work with. I did find a 60 degree, so hopefully we can get this in there close and maybe give Garrett a birdie opportunity. Dial it in. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. Go in. Oh! All right, all right. A little six feet there for birdie. Hey, we got to give ourselves this opportunity. I missed this putt in my beat my record. Strategy. If we get like a tap in gimme putt, let's use it like a true, two iron. We, I don't think we have 18 putters. We might. We might need to think Dude, about this that. This putter has a driver shaft in it. This thing is insane, bro. Some of these clubs are so long. Guys, he's got a little easy five footer downhill for a birdie. I knew that was going to happen. We got to put two putters away. I'm gonna or we go get a wedge. I'm going to practice this real quick. That would have been nice. We kind of blew an opportunity there. I think we're going to put a wedge for that tap. Or like no, a, we, we like wedges. I think we'll we'll just like take... A five iron or something? I feel like choose any club we want. Let's grab a club that we don't really like. So we're going to put a six iron there. So as of now, we should have nine clubs in there because we made a four and a five. So we're eliminating from the stack onto a par three. I literally just put a six iron away. In this next par three calls for a six iron. Okay, technically Tig would have tapped that putt in, so I actually have to hit this well, tee shot. Guys, we already messed up the alternate shot. Don't hate us in the comment. Tig would have technically tapped that putt in, so I'm going to hit this tee shot. We're back yeah. on track. Kind of just messed up there. We also have some people on the course, and we have to finish before eight, so let's dial it in. Yeah, I just want a five iron, guys, which is pretty much, it's not downwind, so I think it's going to be the right club today. All right, guys, Gare has five iron. It's like 210 yards. It's going to push it way back there. Oh, absolute laser. Get up there. It's gonna be short. I think it was four iron, guys. But we are, we're putting. Just on the front of the green right there, and I get to hit my first putt and choose my first putter. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. Boom. This is kind of a tough par three. I'm happy that that tee shot gave him a look at it. That pin's in a tough spot. If you guys haven't watched Bryce Butler, okay, shout out to you, my brother. We filmed a little match out here, a little 2v2. Shout out to Bryce Butler. The man's putting in the work right now on YouTube. You know, he's an NFL player, kind of a beast, all right? Knows how to throw the football, knows how to catch the football. He gets the job done off the course and on the course. So if you guys want to subscribe to him, let's give him the biggest boost of subscribers he's ever seen on his channel. Because I will say this, just so you guys know, a little hint, we're going to be filming a ton more with Bryce. A lot more. Like, a lot, a lot more. Let's just randomly get him to 20K. Like, just show him the love, all right? Show him the GM support. Let's get it going. Tig here, he's got a long ways to go to make this putt. He's looking at 65 feet. Not ideal. I got, like, two putters here. They both look like freaking spaceships. Yeah, but I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go with this one, and if Garrett has to, he'll be able to use that one. Hopefully, we don't three putt. All right, here we go. We got Tig up the hill. Needs to dial this one in. 
That is going to be short, and he's leaving myself. Okay, it's not going to be good if we go over par, but at the end of the day, it's the end of the day. So To have a great time and make a putt. It's a good day to have a good day, man. It's a great day to have a great day. No! Really? No, 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 no! Another short tap in. <laughs> we are running out of putters. How do you use five putters? Dude, pick a random club out of here to take away for that tap in. I'm actually going to be hitting the tee shot on the next hole, so I got to find the ride driver. Par five here. Definitely an attackable hole. It's tough to see it, but we made our first bogey. But right here, we're going to make a eagle. So, no worries here. Take, give me that title, uh, whatever that driver is. Boom. That's the one I wanted. I don't know, whatever one you got in your hand. Oh, the, the Cobra. Looking nice. Look, I mean, taking the wrap off. You can see inside of it. It's kind of cool. Garrett just needs to trust that little baby draw. Oh, that was, it kind of looked like it was going to go left, but it's just going to run. That... I will say this right now. That was the weirdest feeling driver I've ever hit in my life. But <laughs> is it, it even a Cobra or is it just King? It's Cobra, but it's the LTD. That was the worst driver I've ever hit in my life. <laughs> just throwing it out <laughs> just there. Just throwing it out there. It was terrible. All right, here we go. We got Micah. He's going to be playing our second shot. Guys, I rummaged through and I found a Cleveland 9-iron CBX feel balancing some kind of technology. I'm going to see if I got 161 yards. If I hit this well, should be able to get it pretty close and maybe get back to one under. Oh man. Go! Okay, I saw it bounce. Yes! Now you were flirting. You, you started <laughs> I was that flirting with the water, baby. You started that right of right, man. Alright, just had to make sure you guys were paying attention. If you guys weren't, I'm telling you, it's, it's an issue. Time to wake up. Whatever you're doing today, whatever you got going, just know that somebody's out there putting in the work. If it's not you, you gotta get out there and get it done. Oh! Yes! The long putter. Yes. Yeah. All right, Maybe guys. We're dialed in here. This is the four arm. What we're putter. looking at straight down the hill. Got about 35, 40 feet. Four eagle. This Good chance. A, along the forearm, you got to know how to dial in. I like in. it. I like that. Hold it left. That's Pretty good distance easy. control. What am I going to do? Tap it in with the iron? Yeah. I don't know about that. You got it. You're used to it. <laughs> Come on, baby. You got this. All right, this is Tig for a birdie. He's going to try and make this with the eight iron here, folks. Here we go. Can he do it? Now, that was a play of a century. Yes. That is called knowing the game, guys. That is, that is called knowing how to dial it in. You got to know the way of this challenge. We've played this challenge zero times. We're back to even par. That is massive. We got to stay around that even par number. We got to skip a hole. We're skipping hole five because this foursome is not letting us play through. And we're not going to say that they're pretty slow, okay? But we're going to go on to the next part four. And then after we're done, we're going to zoom back to here and finish this hole out and get it dialed in that way. So, All right, guys, on to hole six. We got an uphill par four. It's about 360 yards. So good chance to make another birdie if Garrett hits a good tee shot. He is hitting the tee shot because we made a clutch birdie on the last hole. So this is what it looks like. Garrett's just going to take the driver right at them bunkers with a little draw. Hopefully set me up with a wedge in and we can just cash in another birdie. What kind of driver you got? It's a 14 degree <laughs> rogue Callaway driver. This is basically okay, three wood. Yeah, it's kind of like a three wood. Big high draw. It's probably gonna be in that bunker. Nah, it'll be over. Is that over it? Pretty sure it's in it. So I love good. Those shots. I literally hit it in that bunker nine times out of nine. So you hit it in that bunker 100% of the time. Yes. Wow. All right, here we go. My ball actually barely was in the bunker. This is what he's looking at. He's got an 87 yards. Ooh, 50 degrees. A lot of clubs. This is a lob wedge, 60 degrees. That's money. That's yes, perfect. Love to see it. Look, Look at that this face. Club. I like that face. Ooh, man. baby. Yes, sir. Didn't put him in a good position, guys. Did not get in the right positions here. I might be able to spin this a little bit, but I got a pretty good lie. Kind of rolled in here and tried to roll back. Oh yes, nice shot. That's gonna be a good layup for me. I'm gonna How need to hit the lip with a 60. Degree? That was that terrible. Sucks. Gosh, that is not good. What do you got? I got a 50 degree. Man, we're using up some wedges on this hole. That's not good. No, it's not. But at the end of the day, Little 50 yards. So I got it over halfway there, or well, not quite halfway there. Good math, dude. <laughs> you got it 37 yards there. Oh, holy my shit! Pig. <laughs> Oh, Garrett, that's the equivalent of my shot, the badness of my shot. Now I got like a 60-footer again. I found a little spider in there. It's actually a pretty clean-looking putter. That's what I'm going to putt with. I got like 25 feet. If I could drain this, this would be nice. Dude, this putter, I've never actually putted with one of these. It's kind of clean. Not the situation we want to be in, but this is what he's looking at, guys. This would be an insane par if he could make this. Literally insane. What is up with my putt? Dude, that one not did no. All right, guys, Garrett with a three-wood. Four par. 
and that hit the pin. And, and, and that, that would have gone in. Yeah, that sure. hit the pin and it was leaning it was to the like, left. So I think we can all agree that that part re, was the end. I will say, Bradley, just for the viewers, replay that in slow motion because we're both positive that would have easily gone in. So we're going to count it. Bogey on hole number six. We still got to remember to go back and play hole number five. We are currently one over, which is and not ideal. We Auto have park to three. make sure and shoot 72 or better because we can't run out of clubs. Yeah, that's the Because we the lose if we run out of clubs. This one's a little down breeze. I think it is more of like a 50 degree, but P Wedge is a fine play. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Tig. Oh. No, oh, that's good, Tig. Trust. Needed to go. What? Your depth perception is amazing. I absolutely love it. I thought that was gonna be good. Guys, since we started playing this course, Cavity Ridge, I have yet to hit this green in regulation. I don't know what it is. Walking up to the green, I grabbed a pitching wedge. It's kind of a bumper run shot. Tig has a PXG putter in hand. I didn't even know PXG made putters, but this thing looks kind of like it's from Mars. Elon Musk, what are you doing making putters? I need him to get this close. Gosh. Six feet, guys. Oh, Tig needs dialed in here. Make this for par. Can he clutch up? Never a doubt in my mind. You love to see it, folks. Par on hole number seven. On to hole number eight, which is another par four. I honestly don't feel very confident with my driver today, and I feel like I'm hitting all the drives. Dude, I've been hitting some crazy drivers today. Let's take a look. I'm a square driver. It's gonna be the most Kyle Bergshard thing you've ever seen, man. Garrett, just miss right if you're gonna miss, okay? Don't say that. All right, guys, this is what we're looking at straight away. I mean, we got a beautiful view of the mountain in the background. This was hit a long ways, guys. Oh. I think it's gonna be okay. That that's pin high, I think. Is it? Dude, I think I just found my new driver. This thing sets up so close, dude. Look, I'm in that, love. That club's kind of clean. I hit one of those a long time ago. Dude, that went far. Dude, holy bomb squad. I would have been on the green if I hit that at the right line. Because look, this is what we're looking at, guys. Take gets car path relief, so I'm going to take like right in here or something. Kind of 56 degree. It's a, actually a Nike. I've never, ever hit one of these clubs. They don't even make these clubs anymore, so that's kind of a classic. You love to see it. A little throwback, Tiger Woods. You get up and down. Oh, I thought, you are. I thought it went in. I thought it went in, man. I thought it went. I thought it went in. I think they gave us like a hundred clubs, guys. I mean, we're not halfway there yet, and I would say we're getting close to being. It dude, might. that was an amazing shot, guys. This is just a tap in birdie. That got really close to going in. So. Just like that, we're back. Dude, this is to a nice three far. Like, what kind of is it? Rocky balls. Rocky balls, man. Rocky balls. Rocky balls, e, man. Our deleted bin is filling up. On to hole number nine, aka our eighth hole of the day. We're even par. All right. Also, Mike has started a YouTube channel. He's gonna be uploading a lot of personal golf content over there. So if you guys want to go subscribe to him, let's get him to 100,000 subscribers. You guys need to probably get him like 65,000 subscribers for him to get there. But I feel like everyone's gonna go smash the subscribe button. I think you're gonna have over 100k by the time this video is uploaded. PXG two iron. Holy cow! I saw this in there, and I'm like, guys. You know, I'm going after a two iron. You might need to buy it, man. I might need to, and it has a graphite shaft too. This could be a little Garrett Slayer. <laughs> Garrett Slayer. All right, this is what we are looking at, guys. Hole number nine. Okay. Or four. Dog leg left. Tig's about to hit this two iron. Okay, a little, little chunk. Dude, I will. You're on my team, so I'll take the trunk and run every day of the week, as long as you put me in the fairway. That left comes into play pretty quickly, so I just had to get something on the ground as quick as possible. It's a scary. It. It's a scary shot. I typically hit it B or in the water. All right, guys. 153 yards. Garrett's currently digging through the bucket and looking for his weapon of choice. Garrett's got nine iron. It is down, kind of not downwind. I like this. 153 yards. Let's get in there and get another birdie. Ah, it's going a little left. Stay on the green, baby. I feel like I've been hitting I knew it. That's been a kind of consistent trend. <sighs> yeah. I think some of it has to do with the fact that we're using like 60 different brands of clubs. I think on the back nine I can figure that out and we'll be all good. Uh, walking up to the green here. This is what we're looking at. Tig is actually going to be using a hybrid. Bold strategy. I like it though. Gen X3. I don't even know. This thing has got some power behind it. You'll love to see it. I should have got it on the green for us, but it's all good. It happens. It is what it is. Texas wedge in hand. All right. Pretty decent, pretty decent. As Garrett straight up the hill for par, he needs to make this a little clutch up. Woo! 
<laughs> I Bang. tell you, we've been pretty clutch with these putters. We've never even touched. You love to see it, guys. After eight holes, we're even par. I'm still thinking they sent us more than 72 clubs. I don't know what's going on with it, but I feel like there's got to be more than 72 because there's so much. We didn't count, and don't blame us for that. But what's about to happen is going to be crazy because we're about to move on to some of the hardest holes, and we got to be very strategic with our club choices. Yeah, so all we know is in order to beat the 72 club challenge, even if we do have more than 72 clubs, which technically is cheating at the challenge, all we know is that for us to beat this challenge, we have to shoot better than even par because the par on this course, let me check to make sure, par on this course is 72. So with that being said, if we shoot even par, we should use the exact right amount of clubs, which is 72 clubs. You guys have seen it in our last match, dog league right, par five. Got to hit like a seven iron off the tee and we're ready to go. Uh, it's something. Four iron, just chip it out. There. Yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, Tig. Probably should hit like seven iron or something. And we are in play. I think that's okay. It got left this stuff. Probably shouldn't have tried to chip it. Well, guys, Tig did not give me much to look at. I got to get like seven iron up and over this tree and try and get one in play. And he's going to have like 200 into this bar five. This is one of the hardest holes on the back nine. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Just play that forward in your stance. You'll be all right. Yeah. I crushed that. Is that good? That is good. Okay, I have no idea where we're going, but I think that's good. It's been a great day so far. I got us in the position that we needed to be in. He's got 150 yards. I'm a little left of the fairway, but it is a really good spot. Attackable at the pin right here. You like 52 from that line? I like 52 from that line. Ooh, what the, Once again, what? it just feels so long. Dial it up in there, brother, brother man. Oh my and God. And no way. Just... Not good. Ooh, ooh. I should have known that these, these clubs just don't go anywhere. That's not good. Guys, we're in a tough spot here. Made it up to the green. This is what I'm looking at. Garrett, the bunkers, just so you guys know, are we're playing them as lift rake in place because of people not raking their bunkers and footprints. You guys know about that. He's going to land it somewhere around in here and hopefully give me a birdie putt. I kind of put him in a tough position. Sit. Okay, that had some serious spin on it, so it stopped right there. I got like 10 feet up the hill. We're definitely not in for birdie, but I got a good look at it. That's for par. Oh. Yeah, so we're actually for par, guys. But here we go, we got to take up the hill for par. That that has to count, dude. It, it really does. Dude, without the pin in, that's in 10 like, times out of 10. It, the pin is leaning this way. That's in 100 times out of 10. So I think we're going to count that. Let us know in the comments down below, though. Would that have gone in or not? On to hole 11. We're still even par. So that was a clutch par by Tig. Guys, hole 11 here, 175 yard par 3. Last time I played, it uh, did not do well. So No, but I got an 8 iron. You want an 8 iron? You want an eight iron? Sure. May or may not have just taken a pretty hard fall while I was wrecking that bunker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Garrett, I'm going to need you to aim a little bit right and hit a draw. Oh! Hit a hole. Go, go, go. It's there. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> 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 we got to put a birdie, baby. Hey, we're on track to maybe not use all of these clubs, and that'd be kind of nice. We got to put at birdie. 15, 20 feet, four is birdie. I got three wood in my hand just to use it to tap in because once again, we're not really using much three wood. You know how to do it. Here we go. I can't ex whoa. That thing was jumping up and down like a freaking zebra. Okay, <laughs> tap in for par. We remain at even par. Hole 12, we're going on hole 12, par four, dog that you left, drivable. And I want Tig to go for it. If you have not had a chance to hop over to the GM Attire store, there's gonna be a link in the bio and we got these hats right here, including a bunch of other things that you guys want to go surf that website. All right, hole 11 here, hole 12, our 11th hole of the day. Dog hook left, it is drivable. How far is it, 330? I think Tig can easily get it here. That's what it's looking at. Get it dialed in. Hama Tour World, 460 oh, yeah. seat. Like how he's teeing up on the right side of the tee box, his left, my right. I like to play, probably aiming a little right, if anything. Might be a little left of the green, but that's going to be pin high. That was good. He hit that one hard, guys. This driver's actually, I really like the way it felt off the face. I'm not even sure who makes this. Pin high. I'm telling you, the guy's a beast. He hit it far, and it's just left the green. I got to hit it out of another bunker, but after hitting out of the last bunker, I'm a little more confident in this one. A good look at getting this close, and hopefully we can make yet another birdie. Oh, I like this. 
just slips by the hole. Dang gum. Dang gum, man. <laughs> Dang gum. Dang. Great touch, great hands around the green, and hopefully I can make that for a birdie. I got soft hands, baby. I'm telling you. Four feet here for the birdie. Almost made that. Feeling good. Feeling good right now, guys. Not really sure what this is. It's like a little half moon groove, sea groove, Eleanor 12. I'm going with the Eleanor 12 edition. And we're at one under. Yes! Yes! That's huge. Now we're, we're ticking off the clocks. Uh, clubs since i made birdie garrett had the honor of hitting this tee shot and he's hitting this like little three brid it's like a three wood hybrid or something this is a really nice shaft on this club i had that on a hybrid one time about six years ago and i love it look at that stinger unbelievable <laughs> you can't hit any better at the end of the day when you hit stingers on accident, it's beautiful. That probably looks cool. Oh, I did, yeah. 93 yards. Tig's got to find a good wedge. I really do like this cap wedge play. He likes to knock the shots down, too. It's kind of beautiful. All right, here we go. And he needed to hit a good shot, and he did. That literally could be it. Whoa. I think it's a little bit long. I literally tried to hit a little bit of a flop and use the bounce to kind of hit that up, and it worked, I think. Guys, Garrett has a birdie putt straight up the hill, right about 20 feet. Very makeable. This would be clean if we make this get to two under. And he's just gonna come up a little bit short, but that should leave me with a pretty easy tap in for par. Or par. And with par, he actually left the wrapper on the face too, which you kind of love to see. So we're still one under. I'm actually, I'm really happy with our performance so far. All right, 163 yards here, guys. Downhill, downwind, as Mike would say, down wheel, upwind. 165 yards, I think I need a nine iron here. Downhill. We found a pitching wedge, I think he's gonna go with that. It's some Wilson from a long time ago. Get me set up in there for bird. Oh, well, that I didn't think. go anywhere. I haven't been fading it all day, bro. Thing just died off the face. Is that in the bunker? No. It, oh, it's we're... just over the bunker. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it. Got to make it happen here. Well, this is kind of a crazy putter, guys. Wow, what is that? Tig's got a wedge actually chipping here. This is crazy, guys. I, I'm still, it's unreal. Guys, when you're not aimed in the right spot, it usually tends up not going in the right direction. And that's exactly what happened there. <laughs> Jeez. I like it. Garrett for par. No way. We have been so clutch Dude, with these putts. The putting has been another level of yes. We're still one under on hole 15, which is a par five, our 14th hole today. Feeling really dialed right now in this challenge. All right, guys, a little update. We actually had to skip three holes. We're on to hole 18. We're gonna have to play hole 18. Then we're gonna go play hole five. Then we're gonna play 15, 16, 17, finish out this video. Sometimes it just gets weird filming at courses with other people on the course. Hole number 18, it's a drivable par four. Tig's actually gonna lay us out there with a four iron. It's a really attackable hole if you got a wedge into the green. So yeah. dude, the TMB, ooh, I love the TMB. Uh, Tig put me in the trees. I hit it over there in our match, and you guys saw I was okay, so hopefully I'm okay. There go, man. Guys, Micah's ball is actually in the hazard, but I have like a tiny gap. I'm gonna try and send it through. I got about, I would say 95 yards here, and actually like a pretty fair position, to be completely honest. Like, so it hit this tree and came straight down. This is my small gap right here. Do you think you're getting seven iron over there? Yeah, right up through there. Okay. Oh, he did it. Okay, wait. That, that was going right at too. Whoa. I think it's good. I think so too. Let's see if it's on. If it's on, that's probably one of the better shots I've hit today. It's in the, it rolled into the bunker, dude. Ah, oh, landed right there and rolled back into the bunker. That's tough. Little 50 to 30 degree little MT, MP2 series. 53 degree. You love to see it. Here we go. Take up the hill. The, I will say, the sand, not the easiest thing to judge, so. That's all right. We could be even par after this hole. I don't know, 12 feet for par maybe. So still a good opportunity to make this to stay at one under. No way. No Dude, way. My putting what is up with this? Dude, my putting came out of nowhere and I love it. Four oh, holes left. left. We got yeah. hole five and we got 15, 16, 17. And we're one under. I'm going to just see something real quick. So we have four holes left. So that means you even on this four needs 16. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty. Of like 24 plus yeah they sent us close to a hundred clubs wow that's unbelievable all right this is what we're looking at hole five white dog leg par four uh, i got a titleist 915d this is actually from a couple years ago but this driver one of the best drivers i've ever had really yeah i had this driver for a while it's so good man this thing is dirty hole 
Best drive I've seen him hit in like everness. Holy crap, dude. Unreal. Absolutely that spanked. Was huge. I haven't hit one that good in a while. Hey, like, whoever had this <laughs> did some work on that dude, face. Dude, he did some work on that face. I absolutely destroyed that. I pr he Garrett has like 50 yards left. He's probably got a little 52 degree. I got a pitching wedge. Little pitching wedge. Just land this on the front of the green. I love this play. Dude, why have I been doing that, man? Never mind. I think that's like six inches. Wow. I thought it was going to go in for a second. I thought that was in the trees, <laughs> I know, I brother. I thought it was too. I might just tap that in with a whip. We're beating this challenge. If we shoot like 69 today, we got to get 69,000 likes. Is that a fair number? Let's see if we can get 69K. All right, walking up to the green here. Just grab whatever club you want, brother. I keep saying brother recently. It's like my new word, you know? I get on a word and I just say it. Once it landed, I was like, dang, that's way better than I thought. But both Tig and I thought it was like longer the green, so. I guess he's gonna use a putter here. I don't know if I should be using a putter. But... That's all right. And we got a putter down. Two under, two dirty in this challenge. You love to see it. This is actually some good golf. We got three holes left. We got to play 15, 16, and 17 and finish this thing out. Let's go. All right, guys, we're actually playing hole 17. Then we're gonna play like 15 and 16. Kind of a dog leg left, par four. Believe it or not, they actually sent us over like 100 clubs. So shout out to Golf Avenue. We wanted 72, but we got more than we asked for. So at the end of the day. Hey, it's not over until the last chip is eaten, so. Oh, you couldn't. That's, no, that's perfect, dude. That is so good. Really? Yeah. Dude, that was crushed. Guys, I literally almost drove the green. With a four iron, it's over 300 yard hole. We're looking at like 40 yards. That's crazy. Tig's gotta find a wedge here. Perfect position to get us to three under. We can shoot 69 in this challenge. Ooh, there we go. What's that? 56, I like it even right better. Here. Right here, right now. Get involved right here, right now. No, oh, it's gotta go, Tig. Brother, we need to work on that depth perception. You always say the opposite of what it is. It's just not cool. I wish I could have that chance to hit that shot again. We need to get your eyesight for that. That's all I'm It's gotta go in the red is dead bin. I tell you, we're filling this one up. There's currently, I don't know how many clubs are in there. Yeah, I was wrong about being long. I thought it was gonna be long. Garrett has about 15 feet straight up the hill. This is to get us to three under. This would be huge. See, if he can clutch it up once again, we've made a ton of feet of putts today. Denied. Oh my gosh, I thought you did it. I tell you, when you start putting with a bunch of random putters, you just get it out of your own head that you should be good at putt, like, that you should make putt. I'm, what I'm trying to say is when you don't have any expectations, you putt better. All right, guys, on to our 17th hole of the day. Garrett is hitting the first three wood off the tee, and this is actually a really good club, but he's gonna hit a little baby fade in little there. Fade. Gonna keep it up the right side. Oh, that's so perfect. Gosh, that was amazing. It just kind of cut the corner. That's gonna be close to the green. Dude, this three wood is dialed, baby. Guys, I went with the uh, kind of like the lower fade shot, tried to play the shape of the hole. If you guys haven't watched the Sunday match, Bradley, play it, okay? My drive on this hole last time. Just play Whoa. it right now. See that shot, Tracer, guys? That is quite what possibly is the worst golf shot I've ever hit. Thankfully, I hit a way better shot today, and we're in a good spot to get this up and down for a birdie and get it to three under. Huge opportunities, guys, huge, huge. 52, 111 yards here. Hole number 16, he's got the 52 degree in hand. That's what he's looking at. I pured this through it right up here, so you love to see it, folks. You absolutely love to see it. Oh. Is it there? Oh, it's there, baby. It's there, baby. A little short, maybe. A little short. Here I picked go. it kind of thin, which helped with the spin. That's what that's what you do when you're into the wind. I'm gonna stop now, okay? <laughs> this is to get it to three dirty, guys. Three yeah. dirty. Distance control, 10 out of 10. Now I just need this young man to get this putter hot and see if he can roll one in. Pretty straightforward putt. I don't think there's much in it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. All right, guys, so we cleaned that up, obviously. Dude, what? massive. <laughs> Hey, hey, massive misread. Listen, listen here. Hey, 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 calm down. It was a misread on my part. I thought it went right, or I thought it went left. <laughs> so, you're so happy right now that I messed that up. I thought it went left and it went right. I'm trash, okay? <laughs> Roast me, okay? Unfortunately, we had a good opportunity, but we kind of let it slip by. We got one more hole. It is a par five. Ah, oh, dang. You have to hit the tee shot? Yeah, I'm so excited. I, I wanted to hit the tee shot on this hole. We're finishing out on a par five. If he gets me in good position, I'll be able to go for it, and we're basically going to make eagle. All right, guys. Garrett is shuffling through, trying to find the last driver of the day. We've made it to our last hole. This is hole 15, but Garrett, 
What a club. Pink 25. If he hits it good, I'll be able to go for it in two. And we might can finish it with an eagle. I love the play. That will most definitely be good. You guys saw it take a little bit of a kick to the left, and that's probably going to leave me with exactly 174 yards. Dude, if you guess that right, I'm quitting. Guys, huge malfunction. We just accidentally stopped the recording on one of the most important shots, and now we got a group behind us that's on a tee box, so we can't go back and refilm a shot. But Mike, you hate to see it, honestly. But ex explanation here, it's a par five. I hit my drive, I was in the right rough. I don't know what happened, but I guess we accidentally stopped the camera without knowing it. Mike hit eight iron, we're walking up to the green and we looked through the footage and we noticed we didn't have his eight iron shot on film, but this is where his eight iron ended up. So we have an eagle putt and <laughs> that's literally one of the, the last shots of the video. And we Guys, that's super unfortunate. Super sorry about that. I start it, he stops it thinking he starts it and it's just kind of confusing. But we have this for eagle to finish at four under and hopefully he can get this dialed in. I'm tracking. Man, we gave it a run, and I'm gonna tap this in with a little wedgie poo. That's really sad, because you guys didn't even get to see that. That's the worst part about all this, but I, I, I don't know if we, I think we've had situations where the camera has stopped before and we didn't get on film, but this was a really important situation and we didn't get on film. So that's our fault. We need to pay attention more often. Hopefully we got every other shot. We're hungry, we're tired. I, we just played 18 holes really fast and we gotta go film another video. So sometimes that's what happens. But we shot 69. We literally just shot three under. And one of those shots was not on film. Once again, terribly sorry about it. It's, it's really frustrating. Sometimes filming videos just doesn't go perfectly. Hopefully you guys still did enjoy. 69, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get this shot. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get this in 72 clubs, but we did. So that is crazy. That's unreal. What a video, what a video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. This is probably one of the most fun challenges that I've ever done, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it.